but uh, we call this really the source code, of course. Um, so I, I've tried to, uh, to do this for some applications. Uh, there is a uh, world in it. Uh, first, you need to locate uh, the applications, which is not always easy because uh, many uh, sites are offline. And, uh, it's, uh, <laughs> it takes some time uh, searching for application. Then you have to get in touch with the author, uh, find a working email address, for example. Uh, then ask them for the source. Perhaps I still have backups of it because that's also not always the case. Uh, finally, store uh, the source in um, some safe place, uh, which is not uh, simple problem, uh, simple problem either because. Uh, but there's also some post server that's maybe going offline. Uh, there was some source on the united.org website, which is offline, <laughs> and this is lost. Uh, there was some question which were already there, but they couldn't find them. Find them. Now the author doesn't want to dig his whole black backup and floppies to get it uh, back in. And then the last thing is fixing the application for like, uh, when it was needed. Uh, it's also interesting to try to get the developers back to the POS in Haiku world. Uh, <coughs> sometimes uh, they're interested in it, sometimes they just look to those things, but uh, uh, um, at least, at least uh, contacting them and telling them about Haiku is uh, a good way to try to attract more developers and more users. So I need your help on some applications uh, which, has, which are on the BUS archive website. Uh, there is a lot of uh, backup from BFTV and other sources that I'm trying to sort out uh, by making screenshots and short descriptions of the applications. Uh, I've tried to do it myself, but there are too many applications for, for me. <laughs> so if you can have a look at the website and try to look at some applications, text screenshots, and have a description uh, to help people uh, know about uh, these applications because sometimes uh, people don't even think uh, BOS application could exist for what they want to do. And then uh, try to look at the and try to contact the author. Maybe there are some author of BOS applications here. So, and finally, you can upload your results to the uh, FTP website. Uh, well, send, send it to me by mail so I can add it to, to the website. Um, I will do most of, some of the applications I've been working on. Uh, it's all the practical ones, which is a small game uh, where you play against the computer. Um, I don't know if you played it in the BOS version. Uh, the idea is to take over the grid by putting atoms on it. Uh, you can add atoms in when there is an on the, on the bus and uh, it explodes and puts atoms on the bus next, next to it. So in the corners you need two atoms to make an explosion. On the side you need three and on the normal side in the center you need four. So uh, uh, they go to the, the boxes uh, around it. Um, and you can try to build generations like this. So, <laughs> you need to try to get the uh, You can play with two players or uh, against the computer. Or, uh, I think that's quite a fun game. You play with uh, while you're writing for some compiling stuff.
instruments and it generates uh, all the instruments in real time. Like, uh, so there is no samples in it. And we can do uh, it is a uh, really fast uh, here. And the chart is uh, very cool. You can add notes and focus some music with like this. Uh, I think this, this is a pretty interesting application. Um, uh, I'm fixing it for a so I fixed some jewelry works for now. I plan to add uh, some more features to it. Share your music and you can play it in a player. So this is a music player which play uh, many kinds of uh, tuning formats like and gamble files or. To put a pass drawer, but I couldn't plug in. Yeah, uh, it seems broken for me. So I post it on my own server, but they are, they are available. Uh, it's the same address. Uh, <coughs> yeah. All those applications you showed, you have the source code to? Yes. Okay. Uh, there are many others I don't have the source for yet. Uh -huh. So that's why I'm asking for some help. Okay. <laughs> um, obviously, I can't uh, work on them all at the same no. time. So, uh, <laughs> Other people are interested in uh, taking over some uh, development of some applications. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a nice thing. Uh, it's, um, uh, it's an interesting way to discover how people uh, did things. Um, sometimes it's a good idea to take some inspiration and mm -hmm. learn about programming by looking at existing applications. Yes. Right, rather than starting from some empty C file and starting to write it all yeah. by yourself. What about setting up a a uh, GitHub organization account. Who does that sound? <laughs> to host, uh, no, I mean that that might be a good alternative. And I mean generally, not just just for you, but for anything like that. 
for <clears throat> as alternative for 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 our info or at least you know it's gonna be out. <laughs> and that's pretty much the same. And it's pretty it's pretty I'm watching the air play, I was seeing some play. Have you ever tried to enter the Marco? Hmm? <laughs> or were you ever to enter the Marco? For sound play? Or? No, I don't know. No, no, no. But we don't need uh, no. also players. I, I don't know some players. No, no, I just remember yeah. sound play. I don't know some players. I'm getting some play uh, back. Uh, I, and as well, it's one player. <laughs> yeah, it's one player. It usually works fine as well. So. Yeah, yeah. it would be nice to, to get it back as well. What application is that um, you made the um, presentation with? Oh, uh, that's an application called Graphics 2. It's a very big RCD job for years. This is what I had it. And when I needed to make the slides, <laughs> <laughs> it was way too well. Actually, this is an application that was with the blast from the past. This was an application for MS DOS, which I ported to SDL. It's not no one again. It was a bit of support for animated, <coughs> animated pictures, uh, layers, and many other features. <laughs> Okay, thank you very much. <laughs>